Let's take a look at some of the navigation capabilities which are available in reshopper for C++. So let's begin by looking for a particular type. Let's say I want to find array. Now the go to everything mechanism in reshopper by default gives me just about everything that contains the word array. This includes both header and CPP files, the type name, a couple of constructors, and even some type devs. In fact, there is a lot more in this search and I can press show more items to see every single item. So as you can see, there are 72 different results here and even some macro definitions and I can double click on one of them to find the exact location. Now, in addition to go to everything, it is entirely possible to filter the list of items. So for example, let's put array in here, but now let's constrain it to just the file names. So here I have only the CPP and HPP files. I can constrain it to just the type names. So here I have just the type name array as well as some type depths for it. And finally, I can constrain it to symbol names, which will include the name of a class, some constructors, a couple of type defs, and even some macro definitions here. In addition to typing the full name, you can type just part of the name. So for example, I can type ITS here, and reshopper goes off and looks for every type which has these capital letters. So in this case, we get implied term structure. Now I can use keyboard shortcuts to navigate up and down the hierarchy. So for example, I can go up the hierarchy and I can also get a list of descendants to go to, like for example, flat forward. Of course, it's always possible to just move the mouse over a particular type and press F12 to navigate to that type. Now, if I want to explore the inheritance hierarchy, reshopper has a window for that as well. So here I can see all the descendants of yield term structure and I can expand them and obviously double click on any of them to navigate to it. And similarly, I can see the parents of yield term structure as well. And you'll see that there's even some multiple inheritance going on here. Now let's take a look at navigation within a file. First of all, there is a menu for searching members just within that file. So for example, within the quantum term structure file, there is a max date that I can go to. And of course, we provide navigation options for moving between declarations and definitions. So if we pick something that has only a definition, like here, I can go to a declaration in many different ways. First of all, I can invoke a shortcut, like so. But I can also press Alt-Enter, and one of the options here would be to navigate to the definition. Incidentally, since this is a function override, I can also choose this option to navigate to the function that we're actually overriding. Finally, it's worth mentioning reshopper's find usages mechanism. For example, let's suppose I want to know all the locations where evaluation data is used. I can press a shortcut and reshopper goes off and looks for every single usage of evaluation date. As you can see, reshopper found almost 400 usages of this function. So it's grouped them by project and we can expand any of these projects and click on the actual location where that function is actually being used. On the right here, you can see a preview pane where you get to see the file before you navigate to it. So of course you can navigate up and down this window, pick the file that you need and the exact location and double click on it to go to the actual file. 